Okie dokie. Well, good evening, everybody. And, uh, and I just, uh, once again, on a whim. Or here, let me, uh, let me sketch in a little bit of background. Um, I didn't do a stream today. Or specifically, I didn't do a pinball stream. Um, just rough night at work. It just, back was hurting. Had, like, dreams and nightmares when sleeping and stuff. So, I just decided to go ahead and, uh, give today's, uh, Today's pinball stream a miss, um, but uh, slept in a little bit for about an hour, hour and a half. Um, but then got up, so I figured, so if, to keep this day from like going like completely empty-handed, um, I thought I'd go ahead and uh, do yet another tier list. Uh, this time it's gonna be the ultimate video games. I don't know, all of them. But yeah, it looks like it came off fairly recently, 2022, and then before I continue, um, I need to, I need to kill a couple windows here. Kill that. Okay, so anyway, um, it looks like this one here came off fairly recently. Oh, and also... Um, sorry for the background noise, but I have the air conditioner going right now. Um, try to get the, try to get the temperature in my apartment down to at least 75. It's like 80, 80 degrees right now. So. But anyway, um. Oh, and also, um, I'll, I'll go ahead and say this now, but, uh. But uh, I am going to be having some music going in the background. And it is a playlist. So, I mean, right now it's a uh, Fantasy Sword, First Quest. It's like, you know, old retro uh, chiptune music. But, uh, it's a, but like I said, it's a playlist. There's a whole bunch of different albums. Um, all of them hovering around the Dungeon Synth 8-bit uh, chip, chiptune music sphere, for lack of a better word. But, uh, since I'm probably going to be too busy to announce each and every single album, I'm just going to go ahead and keep it at the lower right corner of the screen. So. Uh, but anyway, the, uh, the categories. If, uh, if I've never heard of it, or if I've heard of it but never played it, it goes up here. And, uh, then we have, uh, fucking S tier, which it's just that, it's an S tier it's an S tier game then there is one below it, it's a good solid game, then we have kind of a, yellow it's kind of a hybrid uh, it's basically, it's part it's, it, it's actually a fucking S tier game if not for the fact that there's some there's some part of that game that's totally ass, that brings it down so kind of a kind of a mixture of S and S. And then we have It's Alright, which is just basically a, it's playable, but otherwise nothing to write home about. And then I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and kill the AC. It's getting too distracted. But, uh, if it becomes a hot, if it, be, if it becomes a hot box here in my apartment, I'll have to turn it back on, though. Oh, and, uh, I gotta go back, going back to the music, um, I didn't do copyright checks on all these, I just, I didn't have time, so, I am running the risk of, uh, if this, uh, video does get copyrighted, copyright claimed, I mean, then, I'm gonna have to shit can it and possibly start over, so, like I said, I, I I'm, uh, I'm kinda being a little reckless on this, like I said, I don't, I don't want to, I didn't want to spend this day completely empty handed, so I wanted to put something out there. But like I said, most of this, most of this music is chip tune dungeon synth. So, in most, but not all cases, it's oftentimes free to use. So. Oh, and um, also, these, um, the bottom rankings here from red to green. I have I had to have played these in order for me to rank them. I mean I I mean I've heard of quite a quite a few of these games, 
maybe seen some footage on them. But if if I was to give an opinion on every single one of these games, I I wouldn't have time. So I might make a comment or something like that, but that's about it. I'm trying to I'm trying to keep this game down to around an hour. I'm not sure if that probably easier said than done, but anyway, let me um going on that and then um also I will be eating a, a tuna fish sandwich as well so you might you might you might hear me like I'm trying to talk with my mouth full and stuff so just just to give people give you guys a heads up all right so let's get started Roblox heard the name Fortnite never played it never will Minecraft yeah it's all right I played it like many years ago but after a while I just lost interest Final Fantasy 14 fucking S tier I mean if only because it's an MMO that I played for about five for at least five years so yeah and uh on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I still, I still post a, a lodestone block. So I've been doing that to this day. Borderlands, heard it, never played it. Mass Effect, heard it, never played it. Dota, same thing. M World, I don't know what that is. PUBG, never played it, never will. Um, only heard the name. But yeah, the, uh, the never played a column, that's going to fill up quick. Never heard of it. Beat Saber, only heard the name. Terraria, never played it. Risk of Rain, only heard the name, never played it. Fall Guys, never played it, probably never will. Team Fortress 2, only heard the name. idea what this is but it looks like something that I've uh, I've never uh, seen it before um, days gone never heard of it counter-strike heard it never played it same thing with rainbow six um, city skylines fucking s tier but um, Maybe because of my computer, but it, 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 it City Skylines doesn't play nice with my computer. Um, hell, it actually um, it takes me longer, it takes longer to start up City Skylines than it takes to start up my whole computer. Same goes for shutting down. It actually takes longer to shut down on my computer, or it takes longer to shut down City Skylines than it does to shut down my whole entire computer. Yeah, a bit of an issue there. Um, sea of Thieves, never heard of it, but otherwise it's just like City, just like Sim City. I'm a huge uh, City Sim buff. So. Uh, Brawlhalla, eh, it's all right. Played it a little bit. Uh, Sims 4. No, I played up. Uh, I played the first two Sims, but not the fourth one. Uh, Stardew Valley. Yeah, it's alright. I only played this a little bit, though. Uh, Halo. Never played it. Most likely probably never will, and I want to do something real quick. Okay, so I'm going to have to leave it like that. Uh, Grand Theft Auto. Five? That being the case, never played it. I actually did watch, um, I watched a full, uh, gameplay movie of it, but never actually played it. Call of Duty, never played it, probably never will. Apex Legends, same thing. I don't really do first-person shooters, so, Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption, uh, never played it. No Man's Sky, same thing. This would seem like a pretty interesting game for me to play, but again, I just, 
Never get her on, never got her on to playing it. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Only heard the name. Uh, Mutant. Never played it. Dead by Daylight. Same thing. Going Medieval. Never heard of it. Gary's Mod. Uh, I have tried this out one time. It's not really for me. I was, I was pretty much lost at the title screen or at the uh, the opening start screen area. Uh, Mortal Kombat 11. Evidence is inconclusive. It doesn't run on my computer. My computer can't handle it. Oh, I'm also gonna be uh, I'm also gonna be drinking uh, Arizona green tea. gonna say good solid game I play this for about nine months but the problem is is uh my computer can't handle it or it yeah my computer can't handle it it gets to where so much animation and all this other stuff goes on that uh, it starts causing my uh, I don't want to I don't want to say lag it causes my uh, all the action to start stuttering because of all the stuff going on, so... Like I said, it's a good solid game though. Destiny, never played it. Cyberpunk, I heard this game was a major shitstorm, but even then, never played it. Rust. Uh, Rust, never played it. Binding of Isaac, never played it. Doom Eternal. Don't really do first-person shooters, Ark. I've only heard it, never played it. Shaft? Raft? Never heard of that one. Fallout 4, same thing. Never played any of the Fallout games. All their scrolls online, same thing. Never played it. Little Nightmares. I've seen a few uh, gameplay bits of it, if it's the one I'm thinking of, but never played it myself. Nautica, never heard of it. Blows Tower Defense, fucking S tier. Played this game for many years. Like, I played like Tower Defense, I think, three? Three, I think it is. Like, back when, uh, back in like the two, the late 2000s, early 2010s. I've been playing, um, been playing Blues Tower Defense since way back then. Three, four, five, six as well. So, all-time classic with me. Um, something light, good luck, never heard of it. No idea, Yosemite, X, Avatar, never heard of that. Um, Idol Champions, this was the game here that made me want to do this tier list. No other uh, video game tier list I've ever seen had this game in there, or any other Idol game for that matter. So, yeah. Um, as far as that, as far as that goes, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and say good solid game, if only because they got a, probably one of the best communities I've ever seen on this. I mean, I think the, the I, I believe the game devs to this day, even they still play this game. But it's a huge uh, Dungeons and Dragons aspect to it. Um, there's a lot of Twitch streamers that stream this game. Um, and again, like I said, even the game devs play this game, and I believe they stream it as well. Um, there's uh, musicians, the people that uh, that make the music for this game. They even play it and stream it. 
so we're very tight-knit community on this. But as far as the gameplay itself, I just say, eh, it's alright. It's a game that, at least with me, kind of lost its luster after a while. But I'm putting it up here in good solid game, because if you're into the Dungeons & Dragons universe, you're, you're definitely going to love that aspect of this. So, um, Gang Beasts. Um, Blended Threats Gaming. Um, it's a husband, wife, and their little girl. They, uh, they play this. So, I'll watch them once in a while, but otherwise, never played it. Um, Hades, good solid game right here, but... Not enough for it to be fucking S tier. Um, played it, and I even streamed it for a while. But it just... Yeah, I just started losing interest after after a bit, but it's still a good solid game nonetheless. Um, Nice and Freddy Self Wanted. The name sounds familiar, but otherwise never played it. Um, Fordham. Never heard of that. Um, Uno. I'm gonna put here, I mean, I love me some Uno, even in real life. Even in real life, but the gameplay itself is almost as bad as City Skylines. It takes longer to start up Uno than it does to start up my whole entire computer. So yeah, kind of bad. Take it a drink. Life is strange. I've seen a preview or two on it as well, but never played it. Just Shapes and Beats, never heard of it. Hollow Knight, seen it, never played it. Escapist, heard the name. Uh, Portal 2. But uh, I've seen seen numerous, numerous gameplay vids, speed runs on it and stuff. Um, it's a game that I'd love to watch, but I wouldn't be interested in playing it, though. Rec Room, never heard of it. Worms, whatever the acronym is, never heard of it. Star Wars. Oh, Lego Star Wars. Complete Saga. This particular one, I've never played, but I played, um, Lego Star Wars on the PlayStation 2. Like, back in the 2000s, but... Never played this one, though. Undertale. It's alright. Played it a little bit. The game, for the most part, went in one eye and out the other. It was just indifferent to it. Uh, Bioshock Infinite. Seen, a, seen part of a gameplay video, but... Never played it myself. Rise of the Tomb Raider. I think I might have played the very, 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 very first one on the on the PS1, like, many years ago, but, like, a little bit of it. It's, it's a game that goes over my head. But otherwise, this one here, never played it. Um, Roller Coaster Tycoon. This is gonna be a tough one for me. I played a Sim Theme Park. Oh, that one there, I would've put in good, solid game, but this particular one... No, never played that one. Um, Tabs, played it a little bit. I mean, it doesn't suck, but it just, it's one of these games that just, it goes in one eye and out the other. Um, never heard of that one, Half-Life, heard the name. I might have seen a gameplay video or two of it, but never actually played it. Rambles of Aether, fucking guest here. This is one of those, um, I absolutely love this. It's... Um, I played, um, it's a platform fighter like Brawlhalla, um, but there, I could probably almost make a video in and of itself on why I like Rivals of Aether a lot more than Brawlhalla. I'd probably, the only one, the only thing that comes to mind on Brawlhalla is just way too many characters, and they're all, the gameplay itself, it's, Platform fighters, not really into, but Rivals of Aether. Um, one big thing I loved about it is uh, 
unlike most other games, especially uh, Brawlhalla. Okay, I'll, yeah, I'm. But like I said, I'll just go ahead and say same thing I said on other videos that have rivals of Aether. I wish I didn't. I wish I hadn't burnt myself out of this game. One thing it does, I definitely do like. It's like, yeah, for the sake of time, I'll just say, fucking S tier. I wish I hadn't burnt myself out of this game. The only drawback to it being the online, the matchmaking kind of sucks. It's like the whole entire planet gets lumped into one server. So. And I, I think it's delay-based netcode. I might be wrong, and not rollback. So, but like I said, I could, I could almost make a video, on in and of itself, and why I like Rivals of Aether and not really Brawlhalla. But, um, Noita, only heard the name. Uh, Forager, eh, it's all right. Played it a little bit. It just, it's another one of those like tabs. It just goes in one eye and out the other. So, um, geometry, something. Like I said, this is gonna fill up quick. Look at that. A whole lot of stuff I've never played. Well, that's still the first album. So, uh, Spelunky. I think I watched a speed run on it, but myself, never played it. Uh, Bloodstain. I think I might have seen uh, a channel named Merrill, N-E-R-R-E-L, Merrill. He did a review of this. Uh, it's a Metroidvania. From what little I saw of it, it would, it would probably have It's Alright or something. But like I said, I've never played it, so up it goes. Spore, heard the name, up it goes. Uh, RuneScape. If this is uh, if this is RuneScape 3, judging by the lo logo, I think it is. Yeah, I played it for a short time. Yeah, it's alright. Evil Genius World Dominator. Mm, never heard of it. Tekken 7. Never played it. Uh, Stick Fight. Played this for a short time. Uh, it's alright. So, no, I gotta look at something here real quick. Okay, so you can still see the, uh, the top line of the game's time. No idea what that is. Um, death, death standing or something like that. I don't know. Never heard of it. Come on. Okay. Among Us. Never played it. Don't plan on it. Uh, Cuphead. If I actually played this, I'd probably have it up here in good solid game. But never have. But I've watched a, I watched a gameplay vid or two. I've watched a speed run on it. But like I said, never played it, so... Paper, please, fucking S-tier. Despite the fact that I royally, I royally suck at this game, I'm a very unobservant person. So, but otherwise, yeah, awesome concept. It's just, uh... It's just a spot the differences type game, but with, uh... Russian checkpoint theme. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a drink here. So, love the concept, though. Um, keep talking, nobody explodes. Never heard of that one. Slime Ranch. Never heard of that one. Untitled Goose Game. I watched a speed run on this, but if I played it, it'd probably be it's all right. But otherwise, never played it. Simulator of some kind, never heard of it. Metro Exodus, never heard of it. Um, Slay the Spire. It's fucking S tier, but the the main story mode I'm not a fan of. This is one of those where this is one of one of those I went straight to the custom scenarios. The custom scenarios in and of itself where you can design your own deck. 
but that's fucking S tier. But, again, I think you have to do some of the story mode in, in order to unlock some of the cards. Just to make, uh, just to make, uh, more custom stuff. But, like I said, here, the story mode sucks. The custom mode is fucking S tier. Um, well, Detroit, never heard of it. Outer Wilds, never heard of it. Um, Yakuza, if it's the one I'm thinking of, where it's like, there's a whole bunch of mini games that you can play. I've seen a little bit of it, but never played it. Lost Cause, never heard of it. War Robots, never heard of it. Uh, Paladins, I've only heard the name. Don't Starve, and whatever, whatever that is on the right. Uh, Factorial, I have the demo. Played a little bit. Eh, it's alright. Um, Gears, never heard of it. Uh, Blasphemous, I got the demo on it. Yeah. Now, now the, um, the motif, the motif would be good solid. Looks freaking cool as hell. But, gameplay, I'm at an age now where Metroidvanias don't really do anything for me. So, that's... That's the, uh... The It's Alright is the Metroidvania part of it. But again, the story, lore, the look... That's, yeah, good solid. Dead Cells, never heard of it. LL Blade, no idea what that is. Uh, Far Cry, only heard the name. The Outer World, same thing. Uh, Guilty Gear Strive. Um, I played a little bit of this. My my computer can't handle it. So I'm kind of tentative on this. The very little that I actually played of it. Good, solid game. I love the fact that, uh, that, uh, dashing. Dashing is, you can put it on a macro. It makes life a hell of a lot easier and a lot less strain on my controller because now I don't have to tap forward or tap back constantly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a drink here. Uh, Castle Crashers. Seeing a little bit of a gameplay video. It's got a... One of, the, one of the songs on the soundtrack is actually part of my main playlist. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, though. Space Pirates? Maybe? Whatever it is, it's cool as hell, though. Like I said, it's part of my main playlist. The Cruise? Alright, um, okay, cool. It started at, um, let me pause it real quick. So this one here, good timing, got this one. So this one's gonna be Woden Word, Angles and Saxons. Uh, this one here came out like a few days ago, so basically it's brand spanking new. into it, probably it's alright, but again, for, as far as the lore and story and all that, it might be up here, but I've never actually played it, so, um, Dark Souls, controversial as it might sound, 
game's ass. Um, and uh, I do kind of need to. Exp and um, uh, I'm gonna pause the music here. I'm gonna kind of feel a need to explain myself. I could pr I could probably almost make a whole entire video on why I why I can't stand this game, but um, before people chime in and say, "Oh yeah, oh yeah, Dark Souls, that's a difficult game, man. You're gonna die a lot." But the fact that the thing of it is is, um, I play pinball. Ball drains galore on that. Yep, I still love it ever since I was a kid. Um, fighting games. Uh, back when I was in that phase. I got my ass handed to me in a high hat constantly. Yep, I still enjoy the genre. Um, like what else? Um, you know, MMOs, RPGs and stuff. I die all the time on those suckers. Yep, there's probably still my favorite genre. Even though I'm out of the phase right now and I don't care to take them up again, but you know, I get my you know I get my ass beat down on MMOs and RPGs too. But yet, you know, it, it's still pretty much my favorite genre. Um, let's see what else. But I mean, basically, I mean, dying don't bother me. Difficulty don't bother me. You know, what I... Probably one thing that really... Really killed it for me was... Stamina. The damn stamina meter. It reeks too much of those old... Facebook Zynga games. Where you could only do so many actions per hour. And then after that, you're... Sit twiddling your thumbs until you can get... A few more action points. And they can do... Two or three more things. And you have to wait another hour. That, that kind of thing. Um... Farm Bill comes to mind. You know, with that kind of shit. But, uh... But, you know, sta stamina was, you know, was like that. I mean, I I think I streamed it once, maybe twice. That was the whole thing. I mean, you block an attack and there goes 25% of your stamina. And then, yeah, I know. Well, you can level your stamina, Joe. Well, how much of this game do I have to endure until stamina is no longer an issue? So, yeah, so I just said, fuck this shit and gave up. Oh, and, um... I might have been wrong, but uh, the camera in that game was not adjustable. I got as far as the first boss. Um, I looked at a few gameplay vi uh, a few gameplay videos on how to get past the first boss. Um, I think I did, but you know, again, it's it's not the difficult difficulty. Don't bother me. I mean, the same thing, same thing, um, same thing about that too. Yeah. The monsters have basically telegraphed attacks. Yeah, I could see them suckers a mile away. But the problem is, again, I'm hamstrung by stamina. You almost might as well make it a damn turn-based game at that point. So... So I guess, um... I guess, uh, what I want to say is, uh, the, it's... It's not the difficulty that bothers me, it's the artificial difficulty. To quote uh, TV tropes, is you know where they're intentionally fucking over the player to keep him from doing anything. So, so it's not <laughs> this game is too hard or anything like that. It's just the the diff the uh, artificial difficulty is like such ass in that game. It just for me, it's not a it's not fun for me. So. I felt a need to address that. Um, getting over it? Never heard of it. Darkest Dungeon, however, fucking S tier. This is my all-time favorite RPG right here. And like Rivals of Aether, I wish I had enough play this game so much because it. I'm pretty much burnt out on it. And in case anyone asks, no, I have no intention of playing the second one, Darkest Dungeon 2. It strikes me as some, them trying to improve on perfection. That no, I kind of. One thing that contributed to burnout is uh, kind of one big drawback. There's almost a Dark Souls aspect to it. Um, they uh really uh hamstrung your uh, carrying capacity. You only each character only has like two or three inventory slots. So, but whereas uh I used a uh, a game exploit that uh that doubled their car carrying capacity, so I can actually get in there and do something well 
Um, my whole kingdom is leveled up. They're all up at the max. Um, but that, I, kind of a, kind of a hard question to answer. But I think, uh, I think that kind of killed the replay value for me. But on the other hand, too, if I hadn't have done that, this actually probably would have been down here and fucking S tier. But the, uh, the uh, inventory. But yeah, uh, if there is no way to, if there's no way to fix the uh, inventory slots, it actually probably would have been down here. Yeah, fucking great game for the short time that I played it, but you know, it's inventory system is really ass, so that kind of thing. But so I guess that can be also a testament to uh, a cool, uh, a cool way to cheat in this game. Just simply go on one of the game files. It's like a configuration file. It all it is, it's notepad. Just go in, um, change some numbers, save your work, and off you go. Pretty cool way to cheat on here. I don't have to download a cheat engine or anything like that. So, um, Animal Royale, never heard of it. Wargroove, never heard of it. Uh, Control, never heard of that one. My time in Porsche, same thing. Um, Crash Bandicoot. I played the very first one on PlayStation, but not whatever this version is. Um, Temtem, never heard of it. Enter of the Gungan. I watched a little gameplay video of it. And not... If I was to ever play it, it'd be... It's alright, but... Never played it, so up it goes. Spiral. Only I've only heard the name. Never played it. Spirit Fair, never heard of that. Titanfall, only heard the name. Saints Row, same thing, only heard the name. Super Liminal, I think that's what it is. Um, never seen it. Moonlight. Never heard of that one. Surviving Mars. Never heard of that one. Shell Shock Live. Never heard of that one. Um Plague Inc. Uh, good solid game. I don't um, I don't play this game heavily. I don't think there's that much replay value to it. But yeah, um, this game used to be called Pandemic, if I'm guessing right. Uh, back in like the 2010s. I'm gonna take another drink here. But yeah, and there and recently. I still want to make a gameplay video of it, maybe a stream, but um, they have another scenario called COVID, which is, um, it works opposite of the way the game normally works. You're not trying to, you're not trying to cause a plague that uh, eliminates the entire world. You're trying to cure the entire world of a plague that's already there. So, but like I said, I have yet to do a, a video or a stream or something. It's just a matter of me getting around to it. Um, amnesia. Never heard of that one, World of Tanks. This, if I was to actually play this, it'd be, eh, it's all right. Otherwise, never played it. Jackbox, never heard of it. Outwear. Never heard of that one. Um, Heavy Rain, never heard of that one. Trover, never heard of that one. Jump Force, never heard of that. Something overcooked. Never heard of that one. Northgate, I'm guessing. Never heard of that. No idea. Our bomb. No idea what that one is. Poor use of the thumbnails on some of these. Uh, Com 2. Never heard of that one. If this is the original one, destroy all humans. Good solid game. Play the shit out of this game back in the 90s. Uh, when it first came out of like PlayStation, PlayStation 2 maybe, one of those two. But yeah, I played the fuck out of this one. Night in the Wood, never heard of that one. Broken Age, never heard of that. I Am Dead, never heard of that. Sunblade, never heard of it. No idea what that is. Undersong, no, I've never seen that one. Uh, crusty trucks. 
Ah, Bastion. Good, solid game right here. It's one of my favorite ARPGs. Uh, probably second only to uh, Path of Exile. Amazing, amazing frog. Uh, no idea on that one. Tumbleweed Park. Colonists. Never seen that one. Um, West of Loathing. Play this way back in the day. It's alright. It's just a, a text-based game. Oh, I'm gonna take a bite here. Software Ink, I guess. Octogedian. Never heard of that one. Donut County, never heard of it. Nibble Knobs Unlimited, I guess that's what that says. Never heard of that. Crypt and the Necro Dancer, played a little bit of it. It's alright. Thumper? Thumper? Party Heart? Oh, never, never heard of that one. Uh, Surgeon Simulator? Watched it speed, I watched it speed run on this. If I was to actually play it, it'd probably be here. It's alright. But, never played it. The End is Nine, never heard of it. Rad, never heard of that. Stanley Parable? If it's the one I'm thinking of, I think I might have watched a speed run on that. But otherwise, I've never played it. Uh, Fez. Watched a... I think I watched part of a speed run. If I was to play it, eh, it's alright. But I never played it. No idea what that one is. Um, Helltaker? I, um, never played it. I watched part of a gameplay video of it. If I was to actually play it, I probably wanted to last too long. It would have been ass. The, the music is that, is, is that annoying ass EDM techno music. So, yeah. I'd have to, I'd have to shut off the music and put in my own. But otherwise, never actually played it. Um, Game Dev Tycoon. I think I might have played an idle game of this. But this version? No. Looks like an actual, yeah, tycoon game. Never played that one, or never seen that one. Garbage. You can almost make, I can almost make this as a, as a thumbnail for like, this game is ass or something. This game is garbage. But otherwise, never seen it. Um, Overs. Dangerous space time. Uh, Thief Simulator, never heard of it. Beyond Two Souls, never heard of that. Dicey Dungeon, never heard of that one. Dark Deception? This looks like it'd be uh, the movie The Dark Crystal. That's what it kind of looks like. Otherwise, aside from that, never seen it. Bendy and the Ink Machine, never seen that one. Uh, Servati, no idea. Streets of Gold. Never heard of that one. Uh, 60-second reaction. Never seen that one. Deus Ex. Never played any of the games. Dishonor. Never played it. D's Basics. No idea of that one. Sonic Mania. Um... I heard this is actually made by a bunch of fans, not by an actual game dev. But otherwise, not really into Sonic. My friend... My friend Banana. My friend Pedro. Otherwise, never seen it. Mini. No idea of this one. Never heard of that one. No 
idea what that is. Can't read that. So I'm gonna see. I heard the name somewhere, but never seen it. No idea what that is. Wolfenstein 2. I think I might have seen part of a gameplay video of this. Um, otherwise, never played it. Inside something. Granny? Some really bad thumbnail work on some of these. Oh, damn. watched a little gameplay demo of this, but otherwise, never actually played it. Ah, uh, Streets of Rage 4. Um, good solid game. Um, definitely not my all-time favorite beat em up, but it's pretty up there though. Okay, so this is uh this is starting to become a problem. Uh, never played column is slowly being phased out. Kindergarten 2. Never seen it. Risk of Rain. Only heard the name. Super Hot. Watched a little bit of a gameplay video, but never played it myself. Puyo Puyo Tetris. Never heard of that. FT. Never heard of that. Cat Quest. No idea on that one. Oh, Lord, Lord. This is all dungeon synth right here, like 1995, 1996. Death Road, Granada. Happy up. Oh, on that one, never seen that one. Nuclear Throne, never heard of that one. Totally Accurate Battlegrounds, never heard of that one. Any Simulator? Well, you can simulate damn near anything. Um, Hotline Miami. Now, the second one, I probably wouldn't have liked as much. If I was to play this, but I'm speaking for the first one, not the second one, I'd probably have it here. Good solid. But again, I've only watched like a little bit of gameplay videos, I watched a speed run on it, but never actually played it. So, Lim, never heard of that one. Gunnick, never heard of that one either. Kingdom Rush, never heard of that one. The Messenger, I've never heard of that one. Quantum Break, never heard of that one. Ah, uh, Super Meat Boy, uh, I watched a speed run on this many years ago, but I've never actually played it. Domino. Machian, something. Blackout, never seen that one. Crawl? Can't even read that. I uh, never heard of that one. Rain World? Never heard of that. Holy fucking S tier. Um, but I played, the, played this a ton, like, back when I had a PlayStation 2 in, like, the 2000s. This is one of those where um, this is one of those where they did everything right, like just music, music, sound effects, uh, dialogue, voices, just fucking everything. And uh, the soundtrack is still listened to the, to this day. So yeah, fucking S tier right here. And I I have tried streaming this, but uh, it crashes on my computer. So 
Wah, wah, wah. Lunch. Something. No idea on that. Flight simulator. Never played it. Wait, Mark. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start up. Let's start winding down some doom. Let's start getting ready for work. This is the police. I heard that. Long to sleep. I think that's what it says. Never knew there was a third one. Never played that one. I played the second one, though. Um, that would probably be... Probably down here, and it's all right. Um, Baba is you. Never played it. No idea what that is. Sautai! Um, seeing a little bit of a gameplay video. I think I might have seen a speedrun, too. If I was to play it, I probably wouldn't. Or I wouldn't be a fan. It just... Two. It looked like I think um the game was made by a probably a guy in his twenties and thirties. But it looks like but it, it's like the game was made by a fucking thirteen year old or somebody who who just hit puberty. And he's like all his testosterone is out of control and all that. That's what it looked like to me. Ah, bro, horse. Played a little bit of it, but yeah, good solid game. Um, not something that I'd want to play all the time, but still a good enough game to where it's solid. Journey. Um, I watched part of a gameplay video of this. Seems like it's an alright game. Um, it's kind of unique in the fact that it's multiplayer, but you you can't chat with each other. You can't talk with each other. All you can do is uh, use communicate with signals. I'm going to take a drink. Life, never heard of it. Soda, something. Ukulele, never, never played that one. Watch the golf, never seen that one. Outlast, watch the gameplay video on this. I think it might have been a speed run as well. If I was to have actually played it, it'd probably be here. Good, solid game. Plus, it's also unique in the fact that, um, I think all you have is a camera, and that's it. Like, you know, no weapons or items or anything. So, it, pretty interesting story, too, so, or pretty interesting story as well. Uh, Animal Crossing, only heard the name. Pokemon, I don't do Pokemon. Never seen it. Utopia, never seen it. Lugia's Mansion, never seen that one. Super Mario 3D World, never seen that one. Pokemon, same thing. I don't do Pokemon. Mario Maker, might have seen little bits and pieces of gameplay video, but never played it. Super Smash Ultimate. Never played it. Unravel 2. Never heard of it. Xenoblade. Never played it. Levelhead. Never even heard of it. Um, Tetris 99. Never heard of that version. Mario Kart. I've only played the Super Nintendo version. Played a little bit of the 64 version. Um, there, I might have played like the Wii version as well, I think. But nothing too substantial. Grindstone, never heard of it. Splatoon, I think I watched a little bit of a gameplay video on this. Otherwise, never played it. There is no game. Um, this particular version I've never played, but 
um, on a gaming website called Congregant. Um, I played it on there. Eh, pretty neat. Super Mario Party. Only play the, um, the Super Nintendo or 64 version of one of those. Never seen that one. Uh, Hyper Light Drifter. I think I watched a speed run on it, but never played it. Super Mario Deluxe. Unless it's a uh, Super Mario RPG, I don't really do uh, I don't do Mario Arms. Um, I think I might have watched a little bit of a uh, of a uh, Super Best Friends play on this. Otherwise, never played it. Super Mario Odyssey. Ah, oh, damn it! Here we go. Plants vs Zombies. Never played it. Wouldn't want to. Doodle Jump Arcade. Never heard of that one. Cut the Rope. Never heard of that one. Temple Run. Never heard of that one. Candy Crush Saga. Play this a little bit. It's fucking ass. It's kind of the same. Kind of the same problem I have with Dark Souls. I have a Candy Crush Saga. It's. It gets to a point in there where the, the puzzles are so damn difficult, and I'm. I, for some, they're pretty much impossible. You have to pay like a microtransaction to get out of that level. At least I did. So, but like I said, it kind of, it's kind of along with uh, Dark Souls, the stamina meter. Candy Crush, same thing. The, the puzzles in that game get so damn hard that you're basically forced to do a microtransaction to get out of there. Or for a hint or something. Alien Hominid, never heard of that one. Crossy Road, never heard of that one. Happy Wheels, oh, never heard of that one either. A lot of unknowns. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> yep, pretty obvious I don't play a whole lot of games. Yep, this is the one I'm thinking of. I played a, I played a version of this on a congregate, like back in the 2010s. Dad and me, never heard of that one. Jetpack, Jetpack Joyride, never heard of that one. No idea what that one is. Clash of Clans, never heard of that one. Subway Surfers, never heard of that one. No idea what that is. Angry Birds, never heard of it. I mean, never played it, don't want to. Fruit Ninja, never heard of that. Brawl Stars. This is, if it's the one I'm thinking of, uh, it's a platform fighter, but with uh, indie, char indie characters, you know, from indie games. I might give this one a go, if I can remember to. Uh, Narita Boy, never heard of that one. Battle Chasers, never heard of that one. Nipper Clipper or whatever that said. Never heard of that. Gibbous. No, never heard of that one. Uh, Freedom Finger. Never heard of that one. Jenny Lecco. Never heard of that one. Everhood. Never heard of that one. A lot of unknowns. One of the Hitmans. I might have seen gameplay footage in various uh, Hitman games, but never actually played them. Uh, Metal Slug, I think I've probably played the very, very first one on Neo Geo. And might have seen little bits and pieces of gameplay footage on other other versions, but aside from the very first one, never played this one. That one, Sexy, Sexy Poodle. Star Renegades, never heard of that one. Ninjolo, never heard of that one. Scott Pilgrim, only heard the name. But Scott Pilgrim can do no wrong, or whatever the hell it's called. Paradise Killer, never heard of that one. No idea what that is. Castle Story, uh, never heard of that one. Stories of Old. 
Familiar, but you can't place the uh, game itself. No idea. Uh, Neon Abyss, never heard of it. Atomic Sultan, never heard of that. Ariel, never heard of that one. Uh, Driftwind, same thing. Zero Escape Trilogy, whatever that was. Dark Complete Edition, never heard of that one. Super Hexagon, Jesus. Not the greatest thumbnail in the world. Stick it to the man. Only heard the name. Nanotail. No idea. No idea what that is. L.A. Noir. Uh, name sounds familiar, but probably never, never seen whatever the game that is called. No idea on that one. Years of Fear, never heard of that. People Knights, or Peggle Knights, or whatever. Uh, no idea. Mirror's Edge, um, uh, never played it, but seen some gameplay footage, watched a few speed runs on it. If I was to play it, it'd probably up here in fucking S tier. Totally revolutionary concept here. Just parkour and stuff, plus the um the the lore and story is actually pretty pretty cool as well. There's actually a really strong political aspect to it. It could have it could it could have it can apply to the today's day and age. Snake Pass, never heard of it. Mayhem, never heard of it. Cross C, never heard of that. Axie Emerge. I've seen a little bit of gameplay footage here and there. If I was to play it, it'd be down here. It's alright. Who? Not a clue on this one. Judge? Uh, never seen that. Office Quest? No idea. Hyper Light Drifter? I guess the other one I put up here was the second one or something, but same thing. No idea. Dreadland, never seen it. Story Uncle something. Oh, this one. I watched a speed run on this one. <laughs> Orcs, 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 orcs. Orcs, 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 orcs. Flower. Or that one. Or this one. Or this one. Or this one. A lot of unknowns here. No idea. Darkwing Duck? No. Not a clue. Man, how much more is there? Holy shit! I barely scratched the surface on this. set up yeah I can't cherry I can't cherry pick the ones that I played out here cuz that just means a whole lot of scrolling I'd have to do so yeah let me let me put it on pause here real quick
I got a lot. Um, but otherwise, what I'm gonna go ahead and do, since I want to, I want to be thorough about this. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, call it good here for right now. Or hell, I can't even do that. So yeah, I'm almost gonna have to. I'm gonna have to cherry pick the rest of them because um, I gotta work tonight. Um, I gotta leave for that. And I gotta leave for work here in about an hour. So. So yeah, gonna have to keep going. Um, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do? Oh, and um, uh, I forgot to. Since I'm here, this is gonna be uh, Sorrows of the Moon. Thy Darkest Desires. So it's it's just a short one, like 10 minutes or so. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and cherry pick. And I guess I just have to scroll like a motherfucker. But my god. Because I can't, uh... I can't save... I can't save this as it is. There's like a whole bunch of hoops that I'd have to jump through to save this list. And uh, I can't, uh, I can't, I can't save this uh, website to my hard drive because what'll end up happening is uh, when I pull it back up, it'll just, uh, it won't save it. I'd have to start all the way over. So, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, just cherry pick the ones that I played, which probably isn't gonna be very many. I can't do that. I can't even scroll it up. Yeah, I can't even do that. Oh, damn, what a waste. The only other thing I can do... See, where was it? Where was it? Alright, so... I'll just grab the games that I played. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? This fucking disappeared on me. Okay, I've already, um, I've already rated this one. This sucks. Oh, I got a freaking pot game. I'm not anti-pot, but the uh, the constant references, the constant memes, 
the memes, articles, all the media shit. It, it's, it's fucking old. I mean, you're pretty much beating a dead horse at this point. And before somebody says, well, if you don't like it, don't look at it. it, it that's not the problem. The problem is it's kind of unavoidable. Hell, I made the mistake of calling in on, on 420. My co-workers aren't... Not my co-workers think I'm a pothead. I'm like, no. Like, man. Maybe I should have done this on my night off or something. Like I said, I didn't... I didn't do a pinball stream today, so I don't... I don't want to end this day completely empty-handed, so... And yeah, chances are I probably missed one or two of them. I'm not a very observant person, so... I'm the kind of person that royally sucks at hidden object puzzles. But so far, it looks like I think I got everything. Okay, yeah, I think I got everything. Oh, missed one. Yeah, I... I, I want to be thorough. One thing that's missing in here, Path of Exile. Unless I already got it. I don't recall me. I don't recall me seeing it. Okay, so let me. All right, so let me go ahead and finish this out with uh, what I have. So. So solitaire. <laughs> of course, I played this. <laughs> it's all right. Um, Pong, same thing. Played it back on the, uh, the, one of the original consoles. It was a little, it was a little yellow thing. I think, uh, the angry video game nerd had a, one of his episodes had, was about Pong. He actually, uh, reminded me of my childhood. He had, like, a little yellow Pong machine. It had the, uh, two, the two, uh, t two knob paddles, like, right on that console. This was back before, uh, they had, uh, controllers. So, um, I forget the name of this game, but yeah, it's a solid game. I played the fuck out of this. Like, back in the, back in the 2000s, 2010s. It's a, it's a physics game. You shoot this turtle out of a cannon. You shoot him as far as possible. I'm, uh, these days, I wouldn't even think of playing a game like this again. But yeah, back in the day, I freaking loved it. Uh, Minesweeper, yeah, I played it. It's all right. Uh, Transistor. Um, it's all right. Uh, it was uh, it's made by the same people. If I can find, it was made by the same people that made Bastion. I think Transistor came up. They made Transistor after Bastion. Played a little bit of it. It's all right. Um, not something I want to play for long periods though. 
It's, it looked like they were trying to improve on perfection. Um, oh, and um, they made Hades as, Hades as well. Love my words here. Uh, Skullgirls. Okay, that, yeah, I've, I've rated this game before in my fighting game tier list. Um, the, the music, the, the soundtrack on it, it's my all-time favorite of any fighting game. Um, my favorite music genre is jazz, which there's a lot of jazz, uh, jazz and jazz-influenced music in this. Um, the track, Learning One's Craft, I think it's called, I have that on my cell phone, um, and even then, I'll still, I'll still play it to this day. It's cool as hell. Uh, but as for, um, the, this fighting game here, ideally you want to play with, um, you have to pick a team of three players. That's the ideal. You can play with, uh, you can choose one character and he'll be, uh, triple powered. Or you can go with two characters and they'll be double powered. But it's still, from all the tournament footage that I've seen, it's, they're, they're big on having three players, not just one. So... It looks like uh, going solo is kind of frowned upon. Um, something else too. The the animation, at least with me, it's very new groundsy. It has the uh, Guinness Book of World Records for most animations per character, and it shows. It's for me, it's kind of hard on the eyes. Like I said, it it looks like a it looks like a glorified new or it looks like a new grounds game in HD. So it just I I don't really care for the look of it. Not to mention, again, it looks like uh, all the characters were drawn by freaking 13-year-olds that are just hitting puberty. So, it, not quite my cup of tea. And plus there's, uh, and plus there's, uh, motion inputs in here, and then some of them are, I think, some of them have those, uh, dragon punch motions, and these really wonky movements and stuff like that, the kind of thing that can really fuck up my controller. So. And there's, unlike Dragon Ball Fighters, there's no auto combo system on this, so. But yeah, like I said, I've got to cut it short because I have to start getting ready for work here. Um, but Battletoads, I definitely played it. Okay, so this one here, this one here is going to be Swordsman. Needog fucking S tier. Come on, get up there, get up there. It's one of my all-time favorite fighting games. I love fighting games that break from tradition. You know, like the standard 2D fighter, like Street Fighter. Um, but yeah, I don't, enough of that. <laughs> Cookie Clicker? <laughs> yeah, I played it. It's pretty much the granddaddy of them all right there. Um... But yeah, it definitely not a favorite. I mean, I like idle games, but this is one of the uh, not so good ones. It, it was one of the original, one of the original idle games. So I can't expect too much out of that. Um, San Andreas played played this a shit ton. So played on my uh, place. I want to say PlayStation Two. So and then um and then Fate. Fate is basically a Diablo clone, but it's definitely up there. And the uh, the cheats make the cheats make the game pretty fun too. So, but but otherwise, there you have it. Um, that's the materialist. And then um, and like I say on my other videos, um, unlike most other guys who do these tier lists. I got it right the first time. So there's no need for me to make further adjustments or anything like that. So I know what I like and don't like. But otherwise, hey, I'm just going to go ahead and call it good here. Um, like I said, I got to work tonight and I got to leave for that here in about an hour. So so uh, this doesn't give me much wiggle room. So I got to get right to getting this thing uploaded and processed and all that. So... 
otherwise, hey, thanks for uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.